not a full changeling. But if you mm. could help me learn how to use that disguise kit, that would be incredibly uh, helpful. Yeah, sure. Anytime. Um, I have some fake mustaches we can put on, or um, you know, eyeliner. I'm not really good with eyeliner or the wings or the things, but um, I can try. Anything you can teach me would be a help. When you can change your form at will, it kind of makes you a little bit lazier when it comes to the makeup. <laughs> uh, do you like art? I have an appreciation for art. It's been a long time. I'm a little rusty. Um, that's okay. Here. And she'll put out her disguise kit in front of her. So, these are, like, my lizard-making colors, or, like, how to make someone sick. Do you want to make me look like a zombie? That sounds potentially a bit complicated. Perhaps we could just start with, like, some light eyeshadow? Sure. Here. And she'll set out that in front of you. Use me as your canvas. And she'll kind of point out the steps. And now I want to see what she would roll. Do it. Do it. Do it. What this guy's kid B for stat you'd use? Uh, yeah, Dex or Charisma. So I mean, probably Charisma. Yeah. It's Dex on mine. Some DMs rule it Dex. Some um, I don't know if I got Charisma. I don't mean to do that more. Honestly. If it's charisma, I have a plus nine to it, but I'll probably just be able to give you like advantage on it since I'm showing you step by step. Either sixteen or seventeen, depending on if it's dex or charisma. Yeah, I mean it's pretty good. Yeah. I look glammed up, girl. <laughs> Better than the average Joe makeup yeah. done. Oh, this is reminding me of theater days. Of what? I used to... I used to work at a theater. I used to perform. Oh, that's so cool! It's very convenient when you can just ever so slightly change whatever coloring you need or whatever facial structure you need for the part. Absolutely. You're like, you could do a one-man show. <laughs> a one-woman show. Or tiefling. Or changeling. Uh, yeah, gender is a very fluid con concept to me. Oh. You like um, being in like a girl form or a boy form more often? Well, I was born with the female form, but it really depends on the job I'm working and just how I'm feeling that day. And the tie, Let's the fashion. See. Sometimes men's fashion is much better than women's. It depends. <laughs> I've always wanted to wear a suit. What's stopping you? This is our veil, my dear. I haven't really gotten to know Avail very well, but I feel very comfortable here. <laughs> you bring a much-needed levity to some of the circles that I've tended to hang around in. Mm, things not very light in the much. theater. Oh no, no, I don't, I don't work at the theater anymore. Oh. You said nobles? Yes. What would you do for nobility? Were you like, like an advisor? What I do is I tend to find things that they don't want found out and give them to their enemies or friends. Depends on who's paying me. Espionage. That's me. Wow! You must be really sneaky! I've put a lot of effort into it. I would like to think so. As, you know, every once in a while things go sideways. You know, we get transported into the future or whatever, but... 
Yeah. <laughs> Things get a little complicated with this um, bunch, I guess. It's definitely been an eye-opening experience for me. It is nice was, um, Eliza again, though. I was just about to ask, did Liza do espionage stuff with you? She seems pretty intellectual. She was probably the one thing that was keeping me from the espionage bit business when we were children. <laughs> Wait, when you were children? Like, how old? I believe I was five or six when I first met her. That's really cute. From the sounds of some of the of the adventures you and Zale and Zarman got into when you were younger, I think we would have liked each other as kids. I think so. And again, I don't know many people I don't like. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> it's an impression. Yeah, I've been called predictable. Honestly, I think predictable is too simplistic. I think that removes a lot of the actual interesting things about you. <laughs> like what? Your ability to be as genuine as you are is a rare gift. <laughs> Isn't everyone genuine? I mean, it's really hard to lie. Babette just kind of gives like a, ooh. I mean, Remember, espionage, I, just... I do make a living off of lies. Right. I guess, like... That must be easy for you. I don't know. I tried to lie to Zale once when we were a kid, and he sussed me out in, like, three seconds. <laughs> Honestly, um... well, in the world I've ended up in, it's an incredibly useful talent. It's really not a good one. Did you help people? Most likely. Sounds good to me. Babette is just like so confused by how truly genuine you are. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we're all like, honey, you gotta hey, brush Babette, up my Can I do your makeup? What was that? Sorry, Brooklyn? Can I do your makeup? Sure. Did you have a particular face you wanted to do makeup on? I never thought about that before. Um, how about just your, your face? She hesitates for a second, and then we'll go into her true form. Oh, wow! <laughs> Your horns look so much cooler than mine. I think that your horns are much more interesting. <laughs> I haven't actually got to meet a lot of chieflings other than Victor. Um, <laughs> um are there a lot of chieflings in Ava? I would say Hearthvine particularly is such a melting pot. It's There's a fair amount of them, but I don't often look around for specifically tieflings. I did see a few at a... And she kind of like goes, oh fuck, and now I'm remembering the time my house blew up face. I did see a few at the opera house a while ago. Oh. Huh. I really like Hearthvine. It, it's like got so many different people and cultures and 
you just get to meet the best people like you, and you're just so nice with the group, and you, you're you so helpful, and I, I really appreciate you being here. I, I know I haven't been around a whole lot, but it's just nice knowing, you know, you I, I've got people to look after my brothers. Hmm. Well, I'm glad that you entrust me to take care of them. That is something I have been meaning to address. When I first met you, you were blue. You gave me the name Rue, though I don't believe that was the name. But everyone just seems to assume nobody's really explained this to me. She kind of like goes a little stoic, which is very yeah, putting from just the giant real. smile that's always on her face. Uh, um... Well, you know, I'm not one for lies, so just, it's complicated. I've learned very little about what's going on. I mean, for the most part, I lived 20, almost years without knowing her or that there was a her. What? Who you met? <laughs> Um, I, I, I am Rue, I think. I'm Rue, and she is, mm, uh, I think my sister. Oh. I have a sister. Um. And she just- It wasn't a good- Sometimes, and you show up, or- yeah, yeah, I mean, there's another place, um, and sometimes I'm there, sometimes she's there. I don't know if you know this, but I, I'm not a big fan of, like, fighting and hurting. I don't really fit into that bubble very well, but it kind of comes with, I guess, we're adventurers, so. Some um, of the finest adventurers have been there to support their allies, as opposed to deal the damage. I just don't want to see any of you die. So far, from especially, what I see, we're all very hard to kill. Good, good. Stay that way. <laughs> Uh, that makes me feel a lot better. Um, she doesn't share this viewpoint, though. Um, I noticed. I don't know. Yeah, I, um, she's, um, kind of like, uh, my opposite? I, I don't know. My, I don't want to necessarily call her evil, but I mean... She just seems very comfortable with everything that I'm not comfortable with, and it feels a little bit like spite, but that's okay, I guess. Negative is negativity isn't necessarily evil, it's just negative. Yeah. You can't have light without the dark and all that. Yeah. I'm really set on the light, I guess. Um... Maybe Most that's just some growing. Two combined in one person. It seems like you two have split apart or something. Weirdly, though, we're very alike in the fact that we can't really hold ourselves back. I guess it's. Anyways, whenever I. S see um one of you get hurt or fall i tend to do a switch where i go and she comes out um the other place is very large very diverse and it's really just me most of the time I've never really been alone. I kind of showed up 
when I was a baby to my brothers. So I've always had them, you know? It's good to have people around you. Like, Eliza, for you, it's it, it, they help. They make sure that you're not, you know, not keeping yourself accountable. They kind of remind you about other people. Not just yourself. Hmm. I don't like being by myself. <laughs> But, that's okay. I'm sure a lot of people don't like being by themselves. Um, but, uh, her name's Libby. Oh. Or, at least that's what I've started to call her. Uh, her full name is Libelu. Belus, I guess we would share. Same last name. You would know, because you're on Valian, that that means dragonfly. Hell yeah. Um, she's done some good, though. She's actually helped Arthur a time or two. And I'm guessing she's keeping you guys safe. Especially from, apparently, hordes of things. <laughs> She definitely was a vital part of that final confrontation. That's good. You know, she is who she is. At least she's helpful. Helpful's always good. Does Rue seem like okay, stay really still. I'm doing eyeliner. <laughs> Does Rue seem like really uncomfortable talking about Libby? Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> like that but, is impressed. You know, she's she... talking that much about her, even though she barely knows. Yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah, but that's also just Rue. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I trust you with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Can we show Eliza when? Sure. I'm sure Eliza would love to see me in makeup. <laughs> Does she not get to very often? I tend not to wear it. It doesn't always transition from face to face very well. Oh. <laughs> All of a sudden you're an orc and you've got some awesome winged eyeliner. <laughs> Not that orcs can't pull it off, but... No, definitely. 100%. Eye shape. <laughs> there. Um... If I bet. Yes? What do you think of Zarman and Zale? I think... They have taken a great weight and are far too young to have done it, but they seem to be managing it well, considering. Yeah. They're kind of heavy sometimes. Mm hmm. But I mean, it's I've good to break been... that up. <laughs> I've only been with them for a few months, and if. That's the pace they've been keeping. I'm surprised that they're doing as well as they are. You can't hold those boys down. <laughs> they're strong. They work hard. And that they do. I know that they'll protect you, okay? So, I know it's probably easy to maybe just feel like an addition or... Maybe out of place, I feel out of place, and I've known them my whole life, you know? But they've got you and your best interests at heart. They're your brothers, in a way. I'm gonna just roll something real quick. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, that's... So... Hmm. You guys tend to... make familial bonds very quickly. What's stronger than that, though? Something I've been questioning lately. <laughs> Why? I've just been working a lot lately and haven't tended to find many friends. So being with you guys has been quite jarring for my usual life. I bet you're like Libby then. She didn't really have any friends until... She appeared, I think. Like I said, you're alone a lot. Here. It sounds like you might have had some adventures in wherever it is that you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, um... I actually went to a lot of places. <laughs> There was this one place, though, I was alone, and I kept seeing things, like... It's Armin and Zayla on my peripherals, but when I would look, they weren't there, and... It was just me, and... It was dark, and I just kept walking... And walking and walking, and every day felt worse. I think it was days. Felt like years <laughs> in a way. I don't know. And then all there was was just this bed with this blanket and she'll motion on the cloak on her shoulders. And then she'll pull it off and actually like lay it out. Mm -hmm. And on the inside of it, it's the quilt patterns of almost like childish drawings up at the top and they get more detailed as each one kind of goes. I think this was hers. It was actually the only thing that I found for a really long time. But, um... Have you ever had... Do you have siblings? I do, actually. Brothers? Give Rachel a second while she checks her notes. I can't remember. <laughs> Finds character sheet. What yeah. is my background? I have a brother and a sister. At base. Do you miss them? Sometimes I do. I occasionally write letters to them, but they're hard to track down. They do the espionage? No, we were a traveling circus. What?! Yeah. Your life is really cool. I mean, <laughs> just from um, a circus espionage theater, standpoint. I'm sure there's stuff in between. That's the- those are the main points. <laughs> I'm glad you have Eliza. That that blinks a couple times. I'm glad that I found her. It's a shame that I found her after the ship exploded, but I'm glad I found her nonetheless. <laughs> well, do you ever have any questions? Like, you know, I'm an open book. <laughs> and, and I'm working on unsticking some of my pages, but if you have any questions, 
I'd be happy to help. Need help with the unsticking. <laughs> I'm a good listener. I do already have a therapist. Really? Maybe He's... I need one of those. I wouldn't suggest mine. He's a little bit intense, but... Oh. <laughs> Therapists are common here. You could probably find one. Mm. If I ever feel like talking about it. I kind of like talking to my family. And she, she looks at you. Well, as your, at this point, let's go with stepsister. <laughs> Maybe I can learn what it's like to have a sister, you know, get some practice. Practice in. for you, meet Libby. I haven't gotten to talk to her, so, but I don't know, you Remind me of her more than just, you know, teeth link vibes. Well, why don't you write her a note, and next time she comes out, I'll give it to her. Oh! Um... Ooh, what do I say? Hi! <laughs> um... It's the annoying pink one! <laughs> um... Nice. I wouldn't suggest giving her any instructions. I don't think she'd take that well. Okay. Here. Here. Starting with hello um, is good. Okay. Hello. My name is Rue. It's nice to meet you, Libelu. Um, what do you say to someone? Oh, this is the hardest letter I think I've ever wrote. Maybe you seem to be the one who tends to open up the most. Maybe just ask her to leave you a note for next time you come out. Saying okay. hello and um, herself so that you can get to know her. Okay. Um, I hope this letter finds you well. And in... Good health. I am excited to hear your reply. Be safe. That sounds like a good first letter. <laughs> it's not Maybe, too um, intense, but it still gets the idea across that you're hoping to talk to her. Uh, I think she tends to find me intense, so that's good. If it's not, then hopefully, maybe she'll take it more seriously. Here! And she'll fold up the piece of paper and hand it to you. I'll keep this with me always, and I'll make sure to give it to her once, whenever the switch happens, things calm down, because it seems that it might not be the kind of thing you would shove into her face immediately. Yeah, mm, you know, even if there are, you never see a good moment, you know, it's fine if you want to just, like, 
I can pull it up, throw it in a fire. Or... I can just flip it into a oh, bag. Okay. And pull it up yeah. 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 Oh boy. Well, I bet. Well, Rue, I'm glad I could help. You're, um, really awesome person. Um, I hope you find comfort in my heavy boys. <laughs> um, so far, so good. Awesome. Good. Okay, let's go show Eliza! As you, like, drag Babette behind you. Accurate. <laughs> yeah. And scene. Hell.